to say hello to the Corps family, Lieutenant General Todd Seminite, 54th Chief of Engineers, and we're on the road again. Today we're in Brandon Lock and Dam, southwest of Chicago. And what I want to be able to articulate today is a very, very critical project for invasive species and for navigation. What's interesting though is that this study we're going to take on how to solve this is being done by two different districts from two division, two different divisions. And the other thing is that it's not just the Corps, but it's a much, much bigger team. Many, many different federal agencies, regional agencies, state and local partners coming together to try to figure this out. First of all, Chris Drew, you're the district commander from Chicago. Can you tell the audience a little bit about what is the challenge we're dealing with here with invasive species? And certainly, sir. Uh, Chris Drew, Chicago district. Uh, there's a series of invasive species in the Great Lakes and in the Mississippi River uh, that the nation's concerned about passing that interbasin. And so they authorized a study, the Great Lakes Mississippi River Interbasin Study, to address control technologies on how we could mitigate that risk. Uh, and the key piece of this is that one of the key areas is the Brandon Road Lock and Dam to address the upstream portion. So there's a much bigger problem. And though we are the structural engineers and structural solution providers for the nation, we're only doing this in partnership with a lot of the other federal agencies and state agencies who are addressing this bigger problem. So Brandon Rose is right down here, right at the bottom. So a lot of different ways of invasive species coming from the north. Uh, you got the carp coming from the south. So this is the one choke point on the system that can really be able to hit this issue. Now, on the other hand, Craig, you also got navigation. So how in the world can you block off the species and continue to be able to make sure this critical navigation passage is able to flourish? Well, sir, first welcome to the Mississippi Valley Division, the Rock Island District, specifically Illinois Waterway and Brandon Road Lock and Dam. Uh, as Chris mentioned, this is a site that's been uh, looked at to potentially, uh, we've been assigned a mission to the Rock Island District to look at ways, innovative control technologies and other methods multiple organizations within the core, like the Chicago District, are working close together, hand in hand. We're also leveraging our national centers, like the Inland Navigation Design Center, Verdict, and also the Inland Navigation Planning Center of Expertise. Most importantly, we're leveraging the expertise of our federal and state partners. Organizations like USGS, US Fish and Wildlife Service, US EPA, NOAA, our US Coast Guard, just to name a few, along with our state DNR really leveraging their expertise to get after the different potential control measures that we'll get after. For navigation, sir, we have a responsibility to maintain a nine-foot navigation channel here on the Illinois Waterway for the, uh, the operations and maintenance to do so. And so we'll continue to look at those technologies, we'll continue to evaluate them, figure out which ways we can do to minimize impacts to waterway users and users. So to be able to sum it up, if you look up the river, you've got the lock and the navigation requirement we're going to have. If you look down the river, this is where the team is looking at some options to be able to use noise, electricity, other type technologies to be able to build a structure that can be able to prevent the carp coming up. I think what's also most important here is you got two districts, two divisions working side by side, being able to really be partners together from the navigation and the invasive species piece, and you guys are really being able to accomplish it. Andy, you're the key guy that's going to bring this home. We say that the Corps got to deliver. We have to make this happen. This is going to be a tough study. Several years. I need you to be as aggressive as you can. Do, le do everything legal. Make sure we're talking to all of our partners. But we do not have the ability to slow down on this thing. we got to continue to push all the way through. We've got to be able to push all the way through to make this happen. So from the chief engineers to all you guys in your district, thanks for a job well done. Bottom line, on the road again, Brandon Locks. We'll be able to update you in the next couple of months on how this is going to go, but we're real excited to take the study on.